Put your palm up. I just want you to feel it once before we get down because you can incorporate all of this foot fitness in. Press heel, pull up toe. Now I want you to take it to the next step. Press ball joint, lift toes. While you're in a flex foot position, you feel the difference? So one, two, three, lift and down. Feel the difference. So when you have in the workout, whenever I say press heel, pull up toes, if you want to get even more foot fitness, meaning get rid of the swollen ankles, get rid of the blood sugar issues, strengthen your ankles, it's press ball joint, lift big toes. But it's really like the little toe and at the same time. Before we get started, everybody take off your shoes and then stand back up. Yeah, the first time everybody wants to do T-tap without shoes. In foot fitness, you get to do it with the socks and the shoes because I want you to get on the full flex. And I'm going to go barefoot so you can be able to see what's happening. The reason I don't want shoes off in T-tap is people don't usually in the beginning don't have the strength to maintain the lifting of their arch while keeping the knee and pushing it out. So they're wiggling all over the place and they don't have the stability of their ankles. But what we're going to do is a series of stretches on the toes. And I want you to feel the full flexibility that you can on stretching. A lot of people, in addition to plantar fasciitis improve with T-tap, have a better um, improvement with bunions. And you can really reverse a lot of it. Or as I'm predestined to have bunions, just like people are depending on it. And so my right foot has it more than the other. I don't know if the camera can zoom in on the top of my foot, and I'll have it this afternoon to prove. But as soon as I put my weight in the ball joint and let my right foot look how much the ball joint goes in and then the toe goes in. That's a bunion. See how much it spreads? Can you see that? No, not really. We'll do it when we have the camera over. Well, anyway, as soon as I take the weight knees out, it pulls the ball joint up, and then when I press, it stabilizes it and actually improves it.